Jake Ludington here at HPE Discover, and I'm here with Marcus and Amit from GPUDB. And could you guys talk a little bit about what your company is and what you do? Yeah, sure thing. So we are an in-memory database company that's uniquely accelerated by the use of GPUs. Uh, so we partner with HP within their high-performance computing division to uh, enhance their Apollo line. Um, so what makes us different is uh, here in the age of IoT, we are a real-time data discovery platform. And so as you look at uh, high-velocity data feeds like social data, uh, like machine-generated data, transaction data, inventory data, customers are very interested in seeing that data as it comes in. So they can analyze it and drive insights in real time. And so that's really our focus uh, as a platform and our partnership with Hewlett Packard. Amit, you're going to show me a, a demo of what your technology can do? Yes. So here we have uh, multiple different data sets running on four HP machines with two NVIDIA K80s. And uh, I'm going to click on a location, and this is 3.8 billion tweets. And uh, clicking on a location, and of course this is uncensored, but you can see what folks are tweeting as I click through, I can combine this and say, you know, show me all the tweets within a given location. And normally this would take a few hours to do on a traditional database. But here, as we're GPU accelerated, we're gigathreading per node rather than multi-threading per node. So I just filtered 3.8 billion tweets down to 952 million. We recalculate the histogram on the fly. We re-render the heat map. And then I can combine this with the fil uh, timeline filter and then additionally conduct a free uh, full text search. So pre-start. So show me all tweets within this region in this time frame with pre-star mentioned somewhere in the tweet. So now I get you know tweets with pre-star in this region in that time frame. And it's, it's interesting that you're getting a variety of words with that too. So. Right. <laughs> And uh, just to I mean, show you guys that I'm not doctoring any of my results, so I'm going to say, I'm going to spell haha in Spanish or Portuguese and conduct that search. And here we go again from 3.8 billion to 5.6 million. And you can see a major concentration in South America around Brazil. And I can see tweets you know, with haha in Portuguese or Spanish. So what would be kind of a, a business case where somebody would want to apply this technology in, in a way like this? So to process you know, big data feeds coming in at very high velocity and doing advanced analytics to see what's going on in real time is a bread and butter use case for us. So like the presidential election right now might be an interesting use case. Yeah, definitely. So to show that, I can do a search, let's say on uh, Trump, uh, typing that in. So. We have 225,000 uh, hits there, and then I can say, you know, show me all tweets within now minus 24 hours, and then I get 377 positions, and I can see, you know, tweets of Trump in from the last one day. So Radka, I was just talking to the GPU DB guys, and they showed me kind of the software side of their in-memory database. And you're going to show me, I guess, the technology on the hardware side that that powers everything that they're doing. Absolutely. So this, what you see out here, is the HPE Apollo 2000 system, which is the densest compute that we have within our air cool portfolio. So this is a 2U chassis, which can have up to four 1U servers or two 2U high servers. The 2U high servers is what's powering up their solution, which can have up to two full high full end GPUs, giving you the density of four GPUs in a 2U form factor. So this is extremely dense and a great balance between storage and compute. So we've got 12 large form factor chassis or a 24 small form factor drive chassis. So it's a great balance between capacity and compute that you get out here. Now, this is also running some additional compute besides just GPU units, right? Absolutely. So the, each server is a dual socket server, up to one terabyte of memory, and uh, we focus on shared power, shared cooling, so you get the maximum TCO uh, of your solution with the Apollo platforms that you have. Nice. Now I think uh, Bill's going to kind of explain how this all fits together. Absolutely. So Bill, I just had the, the GPU DB guys show me their software solution, and we're just taking a look at this Apollo server. How does this all fit into HP's vision? Oh, sure. So, so, so obviously, lots of data, analyzing the data, getting value out of the data is very important to a lot of our customers going forward, and it's a big focus for the company. So this is a great example of 
taking data in memory and applying the latest technology to it, in this case it's GPUs, to that particular problem. So we've been working with GPUDB and we have some great customer successes already. Some of the largest retailers, some of the largest package handlers in the world today are using this particular technology. Is it's it, very is there exciting. A, is there a specific example that you could kind of, not, not necessarily call it a customer by name, but sort of a use case that you could talk to? Oh sure, um, so for example, large retailers worry about where the inventory is. So they have tracking mechanisms to keep track of that, where it is in the process at this particular time. And so they're able actually to store all that data and then be able to understand where their inventory is so they can restock shelves, they can order more from the manufacturer. So it applies a degree of real-time intelligence to that particular problem, which hasn't been been met in the past. Oh, so they could even figure out if they have multiple stores in a general like city area, they could figure out that one store is out and the other store had inventory and they could move it between the two? Yeah, you bet, you bet. So they actually look at shelves and what's on the shelves and what they need and all that kind of stuff. So it's very exciting technology. That is, that is very exciting. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thanks, Bill. You're welcome.